Here's how to create hyper-realistic AI videos with consistent characters inside of Google Veo 3. Whether you're working on an AI film or just want to make realistic AI video content, this video covers everything you need to know about making super realistic talking AI characters. It's pretty amazing how far AI has come. Well, here's the cockpit and yeah, it's just another day as a Jedi pilot on a spaceship. I'll be starting with just a single image of this Viking character, which I generated in mid journey and we'll be using image to video, which I find gives the absolute most consistent results. So before we can get started with creating the videos, we actually need to create images of our consistent character first. And in order to create these images of our consistent character, the first thing we need to do is to create a custom AI model that specifically generates images of this character. And once we have this custom AI model that can generate tons of images of our consistent character, we'll be able to easily generate unlimited images to turn into AI videos. So for this Viking, I'll need to start out by collecting a mini data set of our character. You can think of this like a character reference sheet where we collect some different pictures of him looking in different directions with maybe different facial expressions. Luckily for us, it's pretty easy to collect a data set like this using Google Veo 3. So if I start with this single image of my character, what I'll do is go inside Google Veo 3, then hit this frames to videos feature, which will allow us to upload a reference image to turn into a video. So let's go ahead and upload that photo of our Viking character. Just like that, this is going to be a reference for the AI to create a video. So let's hit crop and save. Then inside this prompt bar below, I'm going to have the AI generate a video of this character from some different camera angles and looking around a bit. So inside the prompt, I'll say he turns and looks around a bit. So let's create this video. So you can see how in the video, he turns his head to give us a side profile shot. And he's turned 90 degrees away from us. This is useful for getting some different camera angles of this character inside our data set. So we'll download this video. Now you have this option of upscaling the videos inside Google Veo 3. I don't actually recommend using this. Just download them in the original size. The upscaler doesn't work that great. I find that a lot of the times it has some weird textures around the faces and stuff like that. Then we'll want to get some screenshots from this video of him facing in different directions. I like to use a website called Frame Extractor for this. So we can upload our character into here. And then below you have the option to extract individual screenshots from this video. Let's bump up the number of frames we want to extract to 100. I'll put the links to all the tools I use in the description, by the way. So what this does is it'll extract a bunch of screenshots from this video. And you see here's a couple of him looking from a side profile shot. And it gives us a different angle of this character. Then we can go ahead and save this image. I went through and did this a bunch of times and I've collected this nice little data set of photos of my Viking character. The reason why we're going through this entire process is because we'll need to use this data set to train a custom AI model that can generate more images of this character. I've got around 10 images inside this data set. I think that should be enough. Now I'll need to train an AI image model that generates more photos of my consistent character. There's a lot of different websites where you can do this in. I personally like this one called OpenArt. It's got a bunch of different AI models. The one I'll use is this characters feature. And we can upload the data set of our characters we collected earlier inside here to train an AI model. So let's use this option where we can upload multiple images. We'll give him a name. First, uh, let's, let's call him Ragnar. Then we'll need to put in our data set. So here it says the first image is crucial. Select an image that showcases your character's key features. Okay, so for the first image, I'm going to upload this one of him looking head on at the camera. So we can see everything clearly about his face. Let's put that in here. And then we can drag and drop in everything else. Once I've uploaded my data set, I can start creating an AI character. This is going to take around 10 minutes or so. I played around with this a little bit and created a couple of different characters. You can see our guy down here. Once the AI character has finished being created, we can start using them to generate images. 
inside the AI character, we'll need to hit this prompt and reference. Once that's done, we can start creating more images of our AI character that we want to turn into a video. So up here is our character model. And then we have an option to enter a prompt to describe the situation that they're in. When writing a prompt, we'll want to tag the character name. You can see here it says at Ragnar. But I also want to describe the environment that they're in, what's around them, and any specific character features I want to highlight. So for an example prompt, I can say photo of Ragnar in a Viking movie, coastline in the background. That's the environment I want him to be inside. And I also put rough coarse beard because in the original photo of my character he has this rough beard with a lot of texture in it and I want to make sure the AI generates that. Then I describe the image style with desaturated muted colors. This is going to create an image with darker colors and I'll say that it's a photo shot on a Sony camera and then you also need to select the output size of the image and I want to go with this 16 to 9 widescreen photo. So let's go ahead and generate this. And in the resulting image, it's pretty much copied over the likeness of our original character and put them in the environment we asked for. So there's this coastline in the background. By the way, if you're interested in generating the selfie style vlog videos inside Google VO3, you'll need to start by creating a character image that is also shot from a selfie style. And for this inside the prompt, you can try something like selfie camera angle photo and tell it to be shot from an extended arm like they're creating a first person vlog. Here's the thing, the AI character model can get pretty close to what your original character looks like, but it's not quite good enough to get all the way there. Here's an example of another Viking character I created. This is the original image of the character I started out with, and on the right is what I get after training my custom AI model. Now, his face does look pretty close, but if you zoom in on some of the details, it's not exactly the same. So if we look at the mustache right here in the image created from our AI model, it's a little bit too neat and shiny. So back in the original image, he has this coarse, rough looking mustache with a lot of texture on it. But inside the new AI generated image, it looks a bit too neat and well groomed. To fix details like this and make the characters as consistent as possible, we'll need to go through an additional refinement step. And one way of doing that is using the image editor feature inside of Midjourney. So I logged into Midjourney. Let's go to this image editing tool. What I'll do here is upload this photo of the character that I want to change the mustache. The first thing is to use this eraser brush to paint over the part of the image I want to erase. Let's control Z actually. Um, I'll reduce the brush size because I only want to paint over his mustache. And we'll just draw over this area. The next step is actually to upload a reference photo of what I actually want his mustache to look like. So I've actually cropped out the mustache from the original character. You can see it's looking very coarse and texture. And let's use this as a reference to refine our image. What we'll do is drag this into the image editor. Uh, make sure you place it above the Omni reference feature. And then inside the prompt, I'll roughly describe what the mustache should actually look like. So I'll say it's a photo of a biking man. He has a coarse beard and mustache shot on a Sony camera. Then also make sure you add this dash dash V 6.1. This is an older version of Midjourney that's compatible with using this Omni reference feature inside the editor. Let's submit this. I'm actually going to run this a couple of different times to make sure we have a good variety to choose from. Let's see some of the ink painting results. Some of these still look a little too neat. If you look around the mustache area for these, they look very, very polished. But it also gave me some new results where the mustache looks a lot rougher than before, which is more of the look I'm going for. I did run the refinement process a couple more times, but I ended up with this photo, which I'm pretty happy with. If we compare the before and after of what his mustache looks like, before it was this super polished, clean looking mustache and afterwards it looks like someone who's actually been at sea for a while. Midjourney is a pretty useful tool to get those specific little details as consistent as possible. The image editor is also useful for adding additional elements into the photos. So I have a photo of this character shot from a selfie camera angle. And the story I want to tell is that he just landed on the coast. So I actually want to add a Viking ship into the background. So. What I'll do is actually erase this uh, little part of the coast behind him. And then in the prompt, I'll say, 
photo of a Viking man. There is a Viking ship in the background on the coast. Let's make sure that's spelled correctly. And then if we submit this, what it should do is actually add a Viking ship into our image. And I think adding in little details like this will make the AI videos a bit more realistic later on. One problem you might encounter when trying to create these AI characters is that they have this AI sheen about them. So if you look at his skin and his hair, it's a little bit shiny and looks kind of too polished and photo brushed instead of the realistic TV show style look you might want. So the original image you use in the character dataset matters a lot. In this case, in the original photo of my character, he has a lot of reflections on his face and his hair. And so that's why in the trained AI model, he also has really shiny skin. Instead, if you train the AI model with images like this on the left that are a bit dimmer with less lighting on the face, in the AI generated images, they still will have a little bit of that reflective surface to them, but it'll be a lot less pronounced. Now that I went through and generated a bunch of different images of my character, it's time to turn these into talking AI videos of this character inside Google Veo 3. This is by far the most fun part of the entire process, where we can bring our characters to life. So back inside Veo 3, making sure that I have the frames to video selected, what I'll need to do is upload one of those images we just created. Let's hit this plus button and we'll be able to put in an image of our character. I want to do this one of him on a boat at sea. And I want to animate him talking a little bit about the experience of what it's like to sail across the ocean. So inside the prompt bar, I'll describe the actions I want him to take, but also give him some dialogue to say since Google Video 3 is really great at creating talking characters. In this case, I'll say the Viking turns and looks around the ship and talks about the difficulties of life at sea and dealing with disease. If we go into the settings for the AI, there's a few different models we can use. We have this Veo3 quality model, which is going to create the highest quality video with the best audio. The Veo3 fast model is also really, really good, but it's much, much cheaper and also a lot faster to use. So let's actually try this one. Let's take a look at the video it generated. Life at sea is a cruel mistress. Disease spreads faster than fear in these cramped quarters. What's really special about Veo3 is these character dialogues. It's so great at creating realistic talking characters. And if you put a bunch of them together, you can really tell a story. I know vlog style videos are super popular in Google Veo3. And one piece of advice I'd give for creating them is that inside your prompt, give it a little more detail that highlights the fact that you have this vlog going on. So for example, in the prompt, you want to highlight the fact that it's a vlog and that it's seen from a selfie camera angle. But you can also add in little details like telling him to tilt the camera, which I found creates a really, really cool camera panning motion inside the vlogs. Here's another example where he's at sea and he tilts the camera to give a panoramic view behind him. Something else that looks pretty cool is if you tell him to point at something in the scene. In this case, he's pointing at the Viking ship behind him. We have defeated the English and their false god. Look at the treasures from their monastery. One problem you will run into is that controlling the voices is pretty hard to do in Veil 3. Sometimes you'll get a deeper voice, a more higher pitched voice, or it'll add in different accents. Here's an example where he has a more English sounding accent. This coastline, raw and untamed, tells tales older than time. Its beauty lie you see. The problem though is that if we listen to another video, his voice won't sound exactly the same. We go to war for conquest, for wealth, and for farmland to call our own. I mean, it's pretty close, but he does have a deeper sounding voice in that second video. And one aspect of creating a consistent character is actually making sure that their voices sound the same. The way we can fix this is use an AI tool which can give us a customized AI voice that stays the same for all the videos. And one of the tools we can use for this is Eleven Labs. So I collected an entire library of voices here. For this specific character, I found this one called Bjorn the Viking. The gods watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. 
And what I'll do is take this voice and add it to my character videos. First step to do this is get the original audio file from the character videos. I'm just going to go inside a video editor and then export just the audio file. So let's check the audio file, uh, cancel the video. So we just get the character talking. Once I have the audio file extracted, I'm going to go back inside the Leveling Labs and go to this voice changer feature right here. And what this will let us do is change the voice from our audio file to a custom character voice. So let's drag this uh, Veil 3 voice into here. And inside the settings option, I can choose the voice I want to change it to. So I'll select Bjorn the Viking and then generate the new voice for our character. And if we listen to the before and after, you can tell that the voice has changed, although the dialogue remains the same. So this is a before file. This coastline, raw and untamed, tells tales older than time. And then here's what it sounds like afterwards. This coastline, raw and untamed, tells tales older than time. That's perfect for me. Just uh, download that. And then back inside my video editor, I'll just drag the new voice onto the timeline. Uh, go back to the video. And so now we've created a new voice for our character. This coastline, raw and untamed, tells tales older than time. And if you use this method, you'll also be able to create a consistent voice for your character, which is way more realistic. If you want to see 30 tips and tricks to help you master creating AI videos inside Google Video 3, go watch this tutorial right here.